Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play the multiplication division version of Math Balloons. If you're coming in from another website and aren't familiar with MathNook, we have over 200 free math games to play as well as fun, free logic and puzzle games. There's never any membership or sign up required. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the game. When you first start, you can see this menu here. If you click this button, this will take you to MathNook where you can play um, more free, fun games, uh, both math and uh, puzzle games. This will take you to this video tutorial and this will take you to the written instructions. But let's go ahead and take a look at the game. The level selection menu which is what you're looking at right now. When you first start out these three levels will be locked. This one will be unlocked. Once you uh, successfully complete the first level then the next le this level will be unlocked and you have the choice of uh, playing this level or you can also go back and play the first level over again and try to get a higher score. After you successfully complete the first level, your best score will show here. Okay, let's go ahead and click the uh, first level and I'll show you how to play. The uh, way you complete a level is to make a match over every square on the game board. And the way you do that is make horizontal matches of same color balloons. It has to be three or four more, more balloons or vertically match up three or four more balloons of the same color. Um, so you have to do that within the time limit and here's uh, the clock showing you how much time you have left and if you make more than five errors you lose a life each time you make an error and if, once you lose all your lives then the uh, level is over and you'll have to start it again to, to uh, successfully complete it. This button here recycles the level, I, I should say restarts the level. This uh, will take you to the menu, uh, to take you to the menu. This button will toggle the sound on and off. This one will toggle the sound effects on and off. This one will pause the game and to unpause it, just click this button here. Okay, let me go ahead and show you uh, how you'd play and uh, let me go ahead and restart the clock here. Get back to five minutes and the way you remove a balloon is your each balloon has a uh, problem on it and you have to determine if the problem is true or false. It's a problem and answer. So this says 5 times 2 which I know equals 10 but the problem says 5 times 2 is equal to 2. That is false so once I click false this balloon will go away. This one, this red balloon will drop in its place and I'll have three red balloons in a row and that'll make a match. Okay, let's go ahead and click false on that. And actually I got a bonus match up here too. I can uh, look around the board. I see if I get rid of this balloon I have three blue ones in a row. So 1 times 6 is over is equal to 6 is what the balloon says and that is true. I'm looking around trying to find I can make a match here. It says 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. That is true. Let me go ahead and answer one wrong and you'll see what happens in my lives up here. So 5 times 2 is equal to 10. That is true, but I'm going to say it's false. The balloon stays there with a new problem and a loss of life. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to finish out this uh, board here real quick so you can kind of get a feel for how you play. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to I'm look around. I can, what I'm going to try to do is, is keep answering I guess I'm going to remove this balloon, keep removing it until a blue one will drop in from above. I mean, eventually I'll get one. Hopefully it'll be sooner than later. So 8 divided by 4 is equals 2 is true. 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2 is true. And there's a blue blue balloon, and I've just made a match there. So, okay, now go ahead and uh, I really need to work on these bottom ones because that'll be harder. So I'm going to go ahead and answer the questions down here until this green one drops all the way down. 15 divided by 5, it says it's equal to 3, and that's true. 16 divided by 2 is 20, that is false. 18 divided by 6 is 9, that is false. 1 times 3 is equal to 22, that is false, and there we go, match. Okay. Now, this one looks like it might be a problem, so I'm going to try to uh, maybe, I think I'll drop this red one down here. So 8 divided by 2 is 9, that's false. And I need to get a red one either here 
are over here. So I don't see any red ones on either side. I'm going to go ahead and work this one. Uh, 14 divided by 2 is 7. That's true. 10 divided by 5 is 2. That's true. And then go ahead. There goes a red one. And got rid of that. So I've got all the bottom rows. I, t I like to work from the bottom because you're more likely to, if you get to bottom, was to have a chain reaction up above. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try to work get uh, this green one down here. I'll knock out these four boxes right here. 2 times 2 is 19. That is false. 6 times 4 is 5. That's false. 18 divided by 6 is 16. That is false. And there goes that row. And you notice I got some pretty good bonus uh, matches up above. Uh, 9 divided by 3 is 3. That's true. 2 times 9 is 2. That's false. Get rid of that. Getting kind of low on time, but that doesn't surprise me since I'm kind of explaining how the game goes as we go along. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, that's true. That's true. So I probably won't finish, but uh, I'm might be able to. It just depends on if I get lucky or not at this point. So let me go ahead and uh, false, uh, try to uh, say work this one a little bit. And I'm going to try to, don't really see any good way of doing that right now. Let me go ahead and this one and these three. So let me go ahead and focus on that's true. Hopefully, change this up a little bit and get there. We go. Nine. Okay, that's true. And if I get another orange one here, it's true. There we go. So really, I just have this one, and I might be able to do it. Let me go ahead and uh, let's see what we do here. That's true. I don't see if anything matching up really good here. Uh, so here we go. Twelve. True. And that's true, and that should complete it. At this point, I can submit my score or go to the next level. And if I submit my score, we always recommend to put in a fun name and don't use your real name. And you can see the this is game is new, so there's not uh, anybody on the leaderboard other than myself. You can close it out. You can go to the menu, and you can actually see the score you made, and you can go back and try to do better or go on to the second level. Well, that's how you play, and that's the uh, end of this video. I hope you enjoy the game, and thanks for watching.